coming up in this captain's vlog. The sails go up, the sails go down, and the sails go left and right, or port and starboard. This is the story of how a man with no boat ownership experience embarked on his sailboat life dream with very little money, a talent for telling stories, and a deep desire to know the sea. I'd like to thank my patrons for helping make all this possible. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, or help out financially by clicking my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and on with the show. The first thing I did this past week was to adjust the new Lazy Jack system so that it doesn't snag on the battens in the mainsail on its way up. I did this by moving the aft line of the Lazy Jacks forward and making the triangle part on the same line smaller. I got it to where it doesn't snag 99% of the time and then I just practiced a few times from there. Putting the sail cover back on with the Lazy Jack system is slightly more tedious because you have to tuck the sail cover underneath the Lazy Jack lines, but I think it looks pretty good in the end. Okay, today I'm coming to you from uh, just off of Doran Beach, which is right outside of Bodega Head. Uh, you can see a boat coming out right there, and Doran Beach is behind me. Got my anchor down. That was the point of today, was to uh, come out here and do a little sailing practice and uh, put the anchor down, which I've managed to do. But let me tell you how I got here. I decided on this little run to, to basically not use my motor at all during in the straits. So I pulled out of Bodega, I pulled out of my little slip space and motored to uh, the beginning of the straits, or the beginning of the straight channel thing that, I don't know, I'll show you on the map. And then I set my main sail. It took me uh, two tries to get it done. I kind of came around into the wind and then had to flip around and do it again because I wasn't going. Basically, I think I didn't have enough speed to actually steer anything. I didn't have enough steerage speed, so uh, I kind of got turned around a little bit. I managed to straighten out, set the sails, and then I sailed all the way down the channel. Um, wasn't very exciting. It was a max of 2.6 knots, and so it was pretty, pretty chill. I managed to get through the dog leg part okay. It was a little tricky, but uh, it was fine.
And then I came out of uh, Bodega Bay Harbor and I turned left to round up into Doran Beach here. And then I dropped my anchor. So um, I haven't really dropped my anchor a whole lot since uh, I started sailing. It's one of the things that I, I, I kind of need to learn how to do better. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a nice, a nice uh, windlass on the on the bow of the boat there, and I can, I can activate it with this button right here, put it up and down, so I can do that from the cockpit, which is nice. The problem is, is I don't know, like the guy that I bought the boat from has the chain marked with some colored, some colored bits, and I think it's every 10 meters, but I really don't know exactly how long it is. So, I'm in like. A, I don't know, 18 feet, I think, is what it, what the, the chart said right now of water, and I think I have like 30 meters of chain out, so. Um, but, seems to be holding. There's one of the fishing boats coming in. Hopefully they caught some fish and they're all happy, but I, I got a couple crab pots out here, and um, I'm keeping my eye on them, but uh, it's letting me know that I'm not dragging, I'm not drifting back, I'm staying where I'm staying where I'm anchored, which is good. Again, I really just don't know much about anchoring and I don't know whether or not you can see the chain is at an angle and we're kind of flopping back and forth. I'm not gonna stay very long here. I'm gonna head back in here soon. Just wanted to practice on the anchoring thing. I think if I was to stay here for the night, um, which is something that I'd like to do soon, is come out here and anchor and stay the night away from the marina that I'll have to put out more chain or, or get a little closer to shore where it's a little sh more shallow because I feel like it's going straight down and that's not good, I don't know. I also have to practice with a snubber. Never used a snubber, so I've got one of those. I just haven't used it, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm going to situate myself a little bit, take a, take a break and then I'm going to uh, start up the engine and start motoring back into the slip space. I'll definitely throw up the sail when I'm, uh, when I'm motoring back. For the most part, it's almost directly into the wind, so the sails aren't gonna do me much good and I don't wanna be there for hours, so that's, that's the plan. I'm gonna get the big guns out. Got a uh, crab fisherman right here off the back of the boat. See if I can get a good shot of him. A nice sailboat in the background. Another really pretty day out here in Bodega Bay. Relatively calm. It's blowing maybe like, uh, maybe 10 knots. The waves aren't too big. It's beautiful. Discovering that it's very difficult to keep a steady shot on the back of a boat. All right. I came, I anchored, now I'm gonna up anchor and head back to the marina. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, start my engine. I feel like that might be the thing to do. On channel 16, this is the United States Coast Guard, what is the location of nature? Keep like swinging all over the place, I don't really know. I guess that's appropriate. But uh, what I'm gonna start doing now is just kind of like uh, winding up the chain and theoretically we'll like nose into the wind, I'm thinking. Got some weeds wrapped around the anchor. And it's still straight down. And we're not dragging yet, so I guess that's a good thing. Still don't. I just don't know. All right, I'll fix 
that later. Okay, now I'm off the ground and I am drifting. I'm just gonna go around in a circle. I just want to say thank you to all my patrons out there that are helping me out on this adventure. I really, really appreciate it. I also appreciate anybody who uh, takes the time to like and or subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really, really helps. So um, from Bodega Bay, California, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.